the word estates. Sounds so sprawling. Hi, guys. Look at you, Junior. But there's nothing spacious about a double wide. Come on in. Filled. Okay, so let's do this. With several dozen kids. Yes. Four afternoons a week, they cram the dining room and spread across the living room. Everybody's going to have a chance. These students and their after school homework helping volunteers who then spill into the bedrooms too. There you go. This is my organized chaos. Jill Dejewski first came here with a friend. She fell in love with the kids right away. Before convincing um, yeah, her husband Brian to also join the Maple Hill Estates Mobile Home Park uh, volunteers. And look at all these words that you're reading. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> The truth is, most of us don't turn on to streets like these. There's a stigma that lays over the community that lives in a mobile home park. Mobile home parks are home to some of Minnesota's poorest families. And Maple Hill Estates, tucked at the western edge of the metro, seems especially isolated. I just felt like God was really tugging at my heart, just saying, this is what I created you for. Easy for the Dejewskis to say as they raised their perfect family in a perfect house in a picture-perfect suburb. It's B38. Now, picture this. This is where we call home now. The home the Dejewskis purchased on Craigslist in 2013, licensed with the DMV and delivered to Maple Hill Estates. We need to have a huge closet. Where Isaac and Joshua are now sharing a bedroom. My brother sleeps on the bottom. We've experienced things as a result of this decision that we could have never experienced otherwise. And their parents are now building their Maple Hill Volunteer to, Service. To get there? From the inside. Thursday. Thursday. English tutors for park residents, legal assistants, and food deliveries. We also do a sports camp. Gophers football players never used to visit Maple Hill Estates. She just said, what if we work together? Nor did the principal of Rockford like Middle School bring her teachers to the mobile home park for a service stay. 25, yes. Followed by twice a week tutoring in the laundry room, soon to be replaced, by the way. This is the Hope Center. By a community center now under construction at Maple Hill, with backing from the city of Corcoran and the mayor. They're determined people. Not so anonymous anymore, these Maple Hill families, once they started packing the city council chambers. They're a great example of what a couple of people who are committed can accomplish. Brian and Jill have been with them for frozen pipes and worse. Mm -hmm. When Juanita Gonzalez's grandson was run over accidentally in front of her home, the Dejewskis were there to start the fund and lead the prayers. Yo vivía en Minneapolis. I used to live in Minneapolis and no one would talk to each other. And here we do so much together now. If I could, I would invite everybody to come live here. Bethel Seminary students, when they met, Jill and Brian could have taken their service overseas. You just have to go down the road a couple of miles and uh, you have the same opportunities that you would if you got on a plane. Thank you. Thank you. Now, these are the moments <laughs> that hit them where they live. We're just building a better future here and we're being obedient to what God's called us to do. Boyd Hooper, CARE 11 News, Corker. Five years after their story first aired, Jill and Brian and their boys still happily living at Maple Hill Estates. And that community center that was under construction is now buzzing with activities. And Mobile Hope has expanded into the Dayton Mobile Home Park. All their funding comes from grants and donations. You can find more information on care11.com. And for more Land of 10,000 stories, text the word LAND to 763-797-7215. They said it right in the piece. It's amazing what a few people mm -hmm. with determination can actually do to make change. It's fantastic. It mm -hmm. is fantastic. Also fantastic.